Hey guys, we're back with another tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to learn how you can transfer your WordPress site from live server to localhost. So this is a practice followed by many professional WordPress developers. If you want to change certain things in your website, test certain plugins and themes, it's best to transfer your site from live server to localhost, do all your changes, and then finally transfer it back to a live server. So in this video, we are going to learn how you can do that. So let's get started. As you can see, we have logged into our WordPress dashboard. If we take a look at our site, here is our site. You can see we have a beautiful catering website. This is basically a starter template from Bloxy. Bloxy gives you amazing templates such as this one. So if you guys are interested in using Bloxy, we will provide the link in the video description down below. Okay, so we are going to transfer this website from live server to localhost. All right, so let's get back to our dashboard. So to do this transfer, we are going to use a plugin. So let's hover our mouse over plugins and click on add new. And from this section, we are going to search for a plugin all in one WP migration. So this is the plugin that we want to use. You can see the plugin has over 5 million active installations and it's compatible with the current version of our WordPress. So we are going to click on this install now button and wait for the plugin to install. All right, so our plugin has been installed. Now we're going to click on this activate button. And our plugin has been activated. You can see the plugin has been added over here. So we are going to click on it. And here it already gives you the option to export your site. We can click on the advanced options to look at some of the settings, such as protect this backup with password, do not export spam comments, do not export posts revision, do not export media libraries, and so much more options. So if there's something you do not want to export, you can select that. If you want to password protect this backup, you can also do that as well. But for our demonstration, we do not need any of these, so we are going to leave this unselected. We're simply going to click on this export to button. And you can see there are so many options such as Dropbox, Google Drive, Amazon S3, Backblaze B2, OneDrive, and so many more options. But we are going to use this file option. Okay, so let's click on it. And it's preparing to export. And you can see the percentage over here. All right, so our site has been exported. Now we can download it just by clicking over here. Okay, as you can see, the download is complete. So you have this file in your computer now. Now we can close this. To launch this site in our local host, we need a software such as XAMPP, WAMP, Local, or any other application. If you need any tutorial with XAMPP, WAMP, or Local, we have those tutorial on our YouTube channel. We will put the link of those videos in this video's description down below, okay? But we will be using Local. So local is a popular software which you can use to launch WordPress. So we're going to download it for free. We have to choose our platform. And, and then we have to fill it up with our, our first name, last name and organization. So let's do that. And then we can click on get now. So once the program downloads, you will find it over here. So we're going to double click on it and you can choose for which users you want and click on next. And then you can also choose where you want to install. Okay, after it's installed, you can see run local is selected. We can click on finish and it will run the software. So we previously had some websites installed, so it's over here. Um, but it's okay. If you install local from scratch, it's not going to have any website. To create a website, you can simply click on this plus button. And here you can select create new site and you can name your site and then click on continue. And I'm going to choose the preferred environment and I need to insert a WordPress username and password. Okay, so once it's done, I'm going to click on this add site button and I'm going to allow this network and it's creating the website. So you have to wait for a few seconds. All right, so once your site is created, it's also, you can see the green button over here, it's up and running. So we can click on open site 
or we can click on WP admin. So let's um, access its dashboard. We're going to click on this button. Okay, now it's asking me to log in. So I'm going to enter my username and password. And now let's log in. All right, so this is a fresh new WordPress site. If we take a look at it, uh, you can see this is the default 2024 theme. So now we want to import our live website. To do that, we are going to install all-in-one WP migration plugin here as well. So I'm going to click on add new plugin and search for all-in-one WP migration. And here's the plugin. We're going to click on install now. It's installed. Now let's click on activate and it's also activated. So if you don't see the option in your dashboard, just simply refresh your site and here it is. Now we can import our site. So let's select the import option. And from here, we're going to click on this button and upload the file that we exported. We are clicking on this file option and choose the .wpress file from our computer. It was downloaded earlier. And it's going to give me a message. The import process will overwrite your website, including database, media, plugins, and themes. Please ensure that you have a backup of your data before proceeding to the next step. Since we have a fresh new WordPress site running, I have no problem of it being overwritten. So I'm going to click on the proceed button. All right, so after the site has been successfully imported, you will see two more options. Save permalink structures or optionally review the plugin. So we are going to save permalink structures. So let's click over here. And now I'm going to log back in. And to log back in, we need the credentials of the live server. So input that and click on the login button. Now let's click on save changes. Now let's view how our site looks. As you can see that this is the website that we had on our live server. Now we have that on our local host. Now what we can do is we can um, make changes to our website, test different themes and plugins. And then finally, when we're done, we can go to our live server and then import it. Okay, so that's it for our tutorial today. We hope that this video was helpful for you. If you found this video helpful, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.